this is fun for you tonight, I hope, right? A little uh, get, getting the, the feel of the ice again and stuff like that. So it was a great performance. Uh, did you, uh, well, obviously you knew the, that you were going to do the Chronicles of Narnia and all that. But how did that, like, did, did you, what am I trying to say? Um, basically with that song by Carrie Underwood, um, how long do you have to listen to that song to make a whole program around it? Well, the number was relatively short, so it didn't take too long to put something together, especially since I really like that lyrical style. Right. And J.T. Hornstein, the choreographer, already had an idea of what he wanted us to do, and he's worked with us before, so we put it together pretty quickly, but with that audience and bringing the live energy, it really right. changes it. Now, um, there's been injuries this week, there's been sickness. Has there been a time where you've been, like, overly sick or, like, cut or that, that you've still had to perform? Absolutely. I think that all athletes have performed under less than ideal conditions. And right. Whether it be, you know, food poisoning or injuries, it really just depends on the particular case and the severity of it. At this point, we really don't know how Brandon's doing, and thankfully right. Brooke was able to come back, but I'm sure they'll all come back strong next week. Now, in the chance that Brandon can't come back, he's still sick, mm-hmm. or 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 that his partner get, now gets sick, um, how, how do you think the, the show will be able to deal with that? Well, I think if, if someone's not able to skate whatsoever, right. it, they'll have to not be voted off but be removed from the competition, of course, if they right. can't continue. Right. But that's just, a, it is a risk that these stars have taken, and I'm not surprised that someone got sick along with being injured because these stars are putting in so much time and energy. Right. Now, uh, all the skating just reminds me of the holidays coming up, like the, the, the snow like, that's not in California, but what uh, holiday plans do you have or you, that, that you usually, usually do during uh, Christmas and everything? This is the first year that I won't actually be competing right after Christmas. I'm oh, usually nice. going to the U.S. National Championship, so this is a lot of fun for me because I can finally spend time at home with my family, go to my parents' house in Atlanta, and really just relax. Nice. So I'm really looking forward to that. What are some hot spots in Atlanta? Personally, I'm going to be there in uh, April. So I'm going to be there from like a Thursday to Tuesday kind of day. What what should I experience while I'm in in Atlanta? Well, I'm a bit of a foodie, so I really like Buckhead. Um, That entire area has some of the best restaurants. um, And I think Buckhead Diner, if you can check that out. They have these blue cheese melted smothered chips that are to die for. (laughs) So after you eat that, you, you're in the skating rink just getting back into shape. Yeah. Well, I'm professional now, so I give myself a little bit of leeway. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Great job tonight. I uh, hope to see you uh, skate more on the show as, as the weeks go on. That would be awesome. Thank you. I may have to step in for some of our stars. Exactly. Exactly. Awesome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.